In this presentation, we would like to show the use and advantage of Pickering's signal routing software Switch Path Manager. For this demo, a cascaded dual matrix configuration has been prepared. The panel in front of you shows a diagram where two independent subunits of the Pickering 40 546 10x4 matrix are cascaded via a double pole single throw switch connecting Y1 and Y2 from matrix 1 to matrix 2. All Pickering PXI modules run in a LXI modular chassis with the shown IP address. The panel monitors the relay state and shows any signal path in red, like the example path X3 connected to X5 via row Y11. Switching in four steps. What has to be done? Launch the switch path manager by clicking on the desktop icon. Start a new project and name it for instance My Project. As a first step we have to set up the used hardware. Add the LXI modular chassis and edit the IP address 192.168.2135 as well as the virtual name LXI. Press apply. We will add now the two switch modules. The first module is the 40-546.001 a matrix with the bus number 50 and the device number 1 and assign a virtual name. I'm using 546. Next module is the 40-150002 double pole single throw. Same bus but different device number and the virtual name will be 150. Press apply and save the project. The software is now able to communicate with the hardware. The second step is the definition of the endpoint names. The endpoint names are the boundary of the switching configuration and will directly be used to establish signal routes. Open the 546 endpoints page and edit each line as shown in the monitor diagram. For MX1 we start with X1 up to X10, Y11 up to Y14. For MX2, we continue with X11 up to X20 and Y21 up to Y24. The grey colored endpoints will be non isolated pins. The outer router would not touch any endpoint with an alias. In this example, we allow the router to do so on certain pins. That's why we modify the signal isolation at these endpoints to never. X9 and 10, Y11 to Y14, as well as X11 and 12, and Y21 to Y24. Press apply and save the project. Step 3 defines the physical wiring between the used switch modules. The two poles of channel 1 of the double pole single throw switch interconnects MX1 with MX2 using their Y1 and Y2 rows. Add a wire and define the FROM pin. Apply a display filter by selecting 546. 
select Y11 and press OK. Now define where this wire should end. Define the 2 pin. Set a filter 250 and select C1.1 which is the common of pole 1 of channel 1 of the double pole single throw relay card. Wire the other side of the relay by selecting the 150A1.1 which goes to the 546Y21. The second pole also needs to be wired. Therefore, duplicate the two entries and select Direct Edit in every column. Edit the second pole on the left side and then on the right side. Do the same for the other side of the contact. A12 to Y22. The interconnection of MX1 and MX2 via the double pole single throw relay has now been defined as the diagram above. Press apply and save the project. We are ready for step 4, establishing the signal routes. Launch the Switch Path Manager soft front panel by clicking on the desktop icon. Set the loaded project into an on or offline mode. We do have an online hardware, so online will be the selection. The soft front panel is using the same API functions, which can be called either from any C programming environment as well as from LabVIEW. The soft front panel automatically retrieves all available routes, endpoints and relay groups previously defined. It prompts with a soft front panel ready and a blinking status LED waiting for user activity. By selecting a starting point and an endpoint and pressing execute, the appropriate signal route between those endpoints will be established. No knowledge is required about which relays on which switch modules are to be closed. The system will always know the switching status and thus avoids any conflicts. For example, select X2 and X5 and press Execute. Select X7 and X15 and press Execute. On the monitor each route is displayed in red. Reset clears the system. Let's use the endpoint list to connect Y13 with Y23. Run the list. The list gets processed from line 1 to line 10 if the enable button has been checked. Add a second route from MX1 to MX2, for instance X1 to X20 and run the list. If a route is blocked, then an error will be returned and the switching command terminated. Connecting X5 and X19 would need a path through the double pole single throw relay, which is used on both poles at the moment. The error will go away if another previous path gets disconnected first. Here the X1, X20 route, disconnect and run the list. Without an error, X5 and X19 are connected now. Let's add additional endpoints to the existing route X5, X19, X17, X18, X20. Before executing the switching, I'm disabling the second line's disconnection because disconnecting twice is not possible. Processing the connect command by running the list. You can see how easy it is to amend existing connections. It is also possible to remove one or more endpoints from a route by calling disconnect. Let's remove X19. Run. Now X18. Run. 
selected endpoints have been removed. What is the conclusion? With only a few steps in preparation, a switching system controlled by Switch Path Manager is easy to learn and easy to use. Request your personal demo session from Pickering Interfaces and find out whether SPM suits your requirements. Look for more videos about SPM on our website. Thanks for watching.